Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Series 2, Knight of Accord, the Warrior of Order. Um, here she is, absent from the packaging. Um, I'll explain in a second. You can see um, some new artwork there on the left-hand side. Um, bubble where you would normally see all of the figure as well as all of her accessories there on the, on the left. Flipping it over the back, you get uh, product shots of all four figures available in this wave, as well as the file card on the on the left-hand side. If you'd like to read it, feel free to pause the video and do so now. And that's about all I got to say about the packaging. I already had to figure out because um, I already started filming, uh, and I got a weather warning alert emergency blah 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 on my phone which screwed up my recording and i didn't want to have to edit it so here i am starting over so whatever uh so out of the packaging she comes with several accessories first off she's got her boss fight studio base which is in the shape of the boss fight studio logo two foot pegs on the back copyright 2020 boss fight studios um, then she has uh, two sets of hands, both wide opened, splayed out, um, right and left. Um, these hinge in and out. As you can see. And that, that'll be good for like a sword fighting pose or whatnot, so you can just throw her hand out to balance herself. Um, next up we have this uh, handle here, it's not a staff, it's more of a handle. Um, it does have a male end here on the, so that you can actually plug the pike head into, which is pretty tight on mine, but it does fit. Straighten it out a bit. Very, very cool. I do like the uh, the wooden uh, color they chose, the blue, the brown. It does make it look like a wooden handle. Um, I love the fact that they picked out all the nubs um, in silver, as well as the handle itself. Very cool. The pike itself looks awesome. Looks like a a boar spear almost. Very cool. Um, now this does come off. And then you also have this ax head here, which comes to a very sharp point, although mine was bent out of packaging, so it's not quite as sharp as it should be. But the design of it is, is awesome. However, I do have a slight problem. Um, this has a, a male plug, and this has a male plug. So I'm not sure how the hell that's supposed to work. <laughs> um, if you know, in the, write me in the comment section, let me know how the hell I'm supposed to attach the ax head to the handle, because I can't figure it out. Um, I could attach it to the uh, spearhead, but that doesn't seem to look very good, in my opinion. I would much rather, it makes more sense to have it on the, on the end of this uh, long handle here, but, on mine, neither end of this wants to unplug. So if it's supposed to, thus revealing a hole that I can plug this into, um, I'd appreciate if you told me because I don't want to accidentally break mine trying to figure it out. Uh, that being said, she comes with a brand new sculpt for a shield. Um, it has the same accord, um, symbol there painted on how well is that coming across on camera keep getting a glare on it so it's the same design but the the actual shield itself is a new mold it's more of a narrow kite shaped shield um, on the back you have a blue painted handle and the two hoops that you can that you personally can run a string through so you can hang it on her back um, cool 
cool shield, nice design. It's not the same shield that we got with the uh, the uh, uh, jousting set, so or the original knight. So that's cool. Uh, speaking of the jousting set. She has this helmet here, which is very nice and a lot like the one that came in the jousting set, but it is not. It is a brand new mold and it is also a separate head. I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera, but there is actually a neck peg in there already for using this as a head swap, which is a little unfortunate. I would much rather see this as a separate helmet personally. Um, she does have the standard winged helmet that we got with the other Knight of Cord. She also has this nice sword here. Uh, three different paint applications on here. So you have the painted blade, you have the gold um, guard, gold hilt, and a blue handle. It looks very nice. Um, she comes with a scabbard. The sword does fit very snugly in the scabbard and pokes out the bottom. Let me get that back out of there. Okay. Speaking of the scabbard, um, the other figure had an anchor point on his belt. Um, she has it on her back, it looks like. And uh, this does peg into the figure's actual peg hole on the back. So you're meant to use one of these holes they gave you on the actual shoulder guard pieces here. Plug that in there. Um, it does fit. I actually did it in the previous video, which I was halfway through filming. However, um, both pieces are relatively soft plastic. So getting it to stay is going to take a little bit more work than I feel like going through on camera here, but it will work. Take my word for it. I've, I've messed with enough uh, Boss Fight Studio stuff in the past to know that this will work just fine. Because you got the mushroom peg here. The hole is the perfect size to accommodate that. So there you have it. And without further ado, let's have a look at the figure herself. Very nice sculpt on her. She has a lot of original parts too, which we'll go over in a second. I do believe the shin guards, though very uh, reminiscent to the original uh, knights, these are new pieces, I do believe. I believe this is a new loincloth here. I did not disassemble this figure yet, but for all, for what it's worth, it does look like she has a lot of original parts. Obviously the head sculpt is original with the, uh, the chain mail painted on there. Uh, the shoulder guards I talked about a little bit. These are original, mostly because her shoulders aren't really broad enough to have the peg holes for the uh, actual knight shoulder art guards still very cool very cool she turned out very nice um, articulation with uh, her geared up as is head is on a barbell joint we'll do a full 360 you get no real up and down up but you do get it down um, you do get tilt from side to side um, this will fit on this head although a little snugly. Let's get the other head on there. See how well that poses. All right, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, can look down, looks up slightly, tilt from side to side. Okay, um, arms could do no, normally do a 360, but the shoulder guards are obviously going to get in the way. They're, they're pliable enough plastic that they will move, however. Um, they go out. Again, they would stop about there because of the shoulder guard, but you can move the shoulder guard out of the way. Get, get the arm up about that high. Full 360 degree rotation if you do. Elbows can bend about 90 degrees. Rotate all the way around wrists full 360 degrees um, on this particular set of hands they bend down and up for the hinge she's got an upper diaphragm joint which enables her move around in several different directions she can move down up twist you name it 
Um, as part of her construction, she should have a waist swivel as well. Let me double check. Huh. Yeah, it does, it does feel like it's there, but it's it, tough for me to get at. Yeah, it's there, all right. It was just a little frozen on mine. So she does have a side-to-side -side swivel there as part of her construction. Put her back together. All right, legs will be a little hindered because of her uh, outfit, but not too bad. As you can see, she can get her leg up about that high. Back, not at all because of her badunka dunk She can do splits about like that. Um, knees are double jointed. Kick her heel back about that far. Ankles. Angle down, angle up, about like that. Pointed toes down about that far. And she has a rocker joint. So all in all, not, not too bad articulation, especially with an armored figure. Um, let's get her standing. We'll do some size comparison. Come on now. It's not the figure's fault that she won't stand. She's pretty solid. It's, it's my, it's my uh, terrain here for the, uh, the backdrop. She won't. I always have trouble getting the figures to stand on it. All right, so anyway, here she is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure, Snake Eyes, from 1982. As you can see, she's noticeably taller. She is a four-inch figure. Um, these are both technically 118 scale. However, she's four inches where he is, he is three and three quarters. Same is true for the vintage collection of Star Wars that you find on shelves these days. Here's Luke Skywalker from that line. She's four inches tall. These are typically three and three quarters. Here she is next to a more modern G.I. Joe figure. This was from Dollar General, Cobra Trooper. Um, much closer in scale to him. Um, here she is next to her male counterpart, um, the Red Boss Fight Studio Blank who is uh, also a knight, quite frankly. Same, this is the male sculpt of it. A Marvel Universe Captain America figure. And last but not least, you have Master Chief. So all in all, it, it's a cool figure. Um, one or two things I, I do kind of wish they did differently. I Again, I'm a little frustrated by this. I don't know how to uh, attach the ax head to the handle which is a little frustrating. I do like the, the new shield. I like the fact that there are several new sculpts on this particular figure. It's not just a repaint. Um, and uh, this head sculpt, quite frankly, is, is awesome. I like this a lot. Um, a lot of cool things here. Uh, I'm just frustrated about the ax head, quite frankly. Uh, this is still a cool figure. Um, I got this as a pre-order. I had questions about my Phantom figures that I recently reviewed because people couldn't find them in the Boss Fight Studio store. I pre-ordered this like a year and a half ago. That's why I've got mine now. Once they fulfill all of their pre-orders, they will post this figure as well as the other ones in the wave up on the website for you to purchase. That being said, I do suggest that you keep an eye out for her because she's pretty cool. So that being said, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll see a whole bunch of other reviews for 118 scale figures, vehicles, and accessories, you name it. All different types of toy lines from all different types of companies. I also do comics book videos as well. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.